Chapter 5 Editing in MS Paint Introduction Editing a picture is an important activity in MS Paint. In editing, we copy, cut, paste or make changes in our work. Selecting the drawing We first select the part of the picture to be edited. We do this by using the selection tools. There are two selection tools in the image group of Home tab of MS Paint screen. They are Rectangular Selection Tool, Freeform Selection Tool. Using the Rectangular Selection Tool. Let's see the steps we followed to use the Rectangular Selection Tool. Click on the Select button in the Image group of Home tab and choose Rectangular Selection option from the Select menu. Click and hold the left mouse button to begin selection. The point where the mouse is clicked becomes one corner of the rectangular selection area. Drag the mouse diagonally to cover the area to be selected. Release the mouse button. The selected area will have a rectangular guide box around the picture. Using the free form selection tool. Let's see the steps we follow to use the free form selection tool. Click on the select button in the image group of home tab and choose free form selection option from the select menu. Click and drag the mouse along the outline of the picture to select it. Release the mouse button when you reach the starting point. The selected area will have a rectangular guide box around it. Once an image has been selected, we can make changes in it. We can also move it to any place on the screen by clicking inside the guide box and dragging the mouse. Using Clipboard Clipboard is the temporary area where we can copy anything. Let's see the main options available in the Clipboard group of Home tab. Cut and Paste Cut and Paste options help us to move the whole image or a part of it to another place. Let's see the various steps to cut and paste an image. Select the whole image or a part of it using a selection tool. Click on the cut option from clipboard group of home tab. The selected part will get cut and disappear. Click on the paste option from the clipboard group of home tab. The selected part will get pasted on the top left hand corner of the paint window. Take the pointer to the pasted part and drag it to the place where it is to be moved. It will get pasted there. We can also use the shortcuts Ctrl plus X to cut and Ctrl plus V to paste. Copy and paste. Copying means to get a duplicate copy of the whole image or part of it at a new location. While copying, the image or its part is not lost from the original image. Let's see the steps we follow to copy and paste an image. Select the image or a part of it using a selection tool. Click on the copy option from the clipboard group of home tab. The selected part will be copied. Click on the paste option from the clipboard group of home tab. The selected part will get pasted on the top left hand corner of the paint window. Take the pointer to the pasted part and drag it to the place where it is to be moved. It will get pasted there. We can also use the shortcuts Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl plus V to paste. Opaque and transparent image. By default, an image has an opaque background and is pasted opaquely on the screen. Let's see what happens when we paste the circle with an opaque background on the rectangle. The circle will get pasted opaquely on the rectangle. To make an image transparent, click on the transparent selection option in the select menu from image group of home tab. Now let's see what happens when we paste the circle with a transparent background on the rectangle. The circle will get pasted transparently on the rectangle. Undo and repeat. 
Undo command removes the last change made to a file. By using the undo command in customize quick access toolbar, we can undo more than one action at the same time. Repeat is the reverse of undo. It reapplies the last change that was made to a file. We can also use the shortcuts Ctrl plus Z to undo and Ctrl plus Y to repeat. Activity. Type the shortcuts for the given commands in the boxes. Image group. We can do many interesting tasks such as rotating or turning an image using the image group. Let's see how to use these options. Rotate and flip. Flip means to rotate an image horizontally or vertically. Let's see the various steps to use the rotate and flip option. Select the part of the image. Click on the rotate button from the image group of home tab. The rotate menu will appear. Select the desired option from the various options as shown. Resize and skew. An image can be further changed using the resize and skew options. The resize option helps us to resize an image. The skew option helps us to turn the image by a few degrees. Let's see the various steps to use the resize and skew options. Select the area that has to be resized or skewed. Click on resize button from the image group of home tab. The resize and skew dialog box will appear. Click on the desired option and enter the required value. Click on the OK button to complete the task. We can change the picture vertically or horizontally by changing the values in resized and skew dialog box. We can increase or decrease the values by adding or subtracting from the original values. Changing the size of an image. We can increase or decrease the size of an image proportionately by putting the same values in the horizontal and vertical boxes. Activity.